my name is Yang Kang. Uh, I'm with Citigroup and I'm responsible for running algorithmic products globally and smart order routers globally. I think the uh, Algorithmic trading is, like you said, an extremely important part of the offerings that many of the banks have for its clients. Now, um, as you said, the, the arms race that we talk about in terms of algorithmic trading platform has uh, really taken hold in the U.S. especially, uh, especially among bulge bracket firms. Um, but I think we need to segregate that into two areas. Um, from the U.S. perspective, I think that arms race has come towards the end of that cycle, meaning the evolution of their platform has, has come to everyone and everyone has invested back into that. So I would say the platform itself is at a fairly um, robust stage at this point. Um, that's certainly not the case in global perspective. Um, so you look, you look at countries like Mexico, Brazil, or even uh, a lot of the Asian countries. And what you'll see is that the platform that a lot of the banks offer out from their dominant countries versus the smaller markets are not necessarily the same. So what you end up with is, is lack of consistency and perhaps the innovation that's had in one country that is certainly not available in another country. So. From our perspective, uh, City's perspective, we have actually gone back and actually consolidated all of our platforms. So we have built a brand new platform that is globally consistent, that is asset class agnostic, so, so that we can leverage it again and again and again. So the beauty of it is, by, in order to launch Mexico and Brazil, it really didn't take us a long time because our platform was designed to be Portable in that respect. So, in one hand, I would say that a lot of the bulge bracket firms have messed into it. So, in U.S. perspective, a lot of banks are, I think, in a similar stage. But from the global perspective, I think there is a very big difference in terms of what the firms can offer out to their clients. Mm -hmm.